Hi everyone, Nevada Nail Person. So today I'm going to be sharing what's in my June BoxyCharm. $21 a month subscription service. Keep getting them until you say don't send them anymore. So, great. I've been very happy overall with BoxyCharm. There's some misses, but for $21 a month and getting some full-size products, I'm pretty happy. And it does give you some a little bit out of the box so you could try things you haven't tried before. So I guess the theme this month is uh, Downtown Charm. So they give you a card and it gives you a description of the products and how much it's worth. And apparently they're doing a um, exclusive box charm. So, so I guess I will enter. So exciting for that. So I will say I did peek and I'm quite happy with the box this month. So let me share the products with you. So first off, I received three face masks from a company called BioBell. And it's three different types. This is, let's see, three sheet masks, retail $14.97, which I'm not sure about that but I love face masks they they don't leave you with intense hydration but if you just want a quick fix maybe less than 24 hours like uh, if you want a refreshed face for the morning that's great um, so there's two I noticed two masks like that that you could just kind of wear and they're hydrating one has avocado and um, this one it was avocado and collagen and this one is uh, almond oil and vitamin E so great and then this one was kind of interesting it's a primer mask so you would use this before um, you would apply your makeup so I thought that was pretty interesting I never heard of that before so $15 so like $5 each the next product is, let's see, oh, I'll share this. This is from Ofra. This is one of their long-lasting liquid lipsticks. And this is worth $19.90, and it's in the shade Tuscany, which is a great nude. So it's darker nude, but I think it's pretty nice. It's what I have on right now. So, um... A little bit dark for me for this time of year but I did try it out I wanted to show you so um, it's a great I think a great lipstick um, that's what the doe foot looks like and I'll just do a little swatch so you can see it's rather dark so it's like a I want to say it, it reminds me of Lolita too almost so it's called Tuscany and I don't mind it at all so great and there was a little um, card here it says 30% uh, off with boxy 30 so um, if you're interested there you go so ofra.com so that's I think a great product the next product the next two products actually I think kind of go hand in hand um, First of all, I received a Luxie brush. This is the, uh, where is it here? Rose Gold Pro Precision Tapered Face Brush 640, retail $24. So um, it's not supposed to be curly like that, but it's um, it was kind of smooshed in the box. So it's a great, uh, I think it would be good for like, um, more than one it doesn't spe uh, specify what it's used for but probably applying like blush or highlighter which I did or some loose powders because it's kind of fluffy so you're going to get a lighter application with um, a type of fluffy type brush like this so not mad at this at all I love Luxie brushes I purchased them on my own and even better like getting them in boxes like this so I mentioned that there was something hand in hand. So I also received an Artist Couture highlighter. It's the Diamond Glow Powder by Art Artist Couture. And it says retail 
So I was excited to get this. I always wanted to try one of these highlighters. I, I see, um, if you ever watch, see on Instagram, Mac Daddy, and he always has that awesome highlight, which is fabulous. So I always wanted to try one of the highlights. So now I can. So I received the shade um, Conceited. And the only thing is, um, I, I don't love loose powders, but um, don't mind getting it in a box. The other issue is it's kind of dark for me, I think. And um, it's a little bit glittery. I didn't anticipate getting a product that was quite this glittery. So let me show that to you. So there is the highlight. Let's see. So it appears to be kind of dark for my skin tone. You can see on my skin tone, it's a bit too almost like copperish, between a copper and a gold. And let me put a little more. I don't think I'll get the glitter up close, but I'll try. But it is quite glittery. Um, I guess it depends what light you're in. I did apply a little on my cheekbones just to kind of get a feel for it. So I did have highlighter on earlier, but I just applied a little bit more and you can see it. I'm not seeing that dark streak from the highlighter. Sometimes it, if you put a highlighter on, it's too dark. It'll um, migrate into your eye area and you can see it. So I applied it very lightly, but it is kind of pretty, I guess, depending on how it's applied. I guess I can get away with it. So this is the this is the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in Conceited. So there you go. Okay, so the final product, and yeah, we're at the final product already. This is the Real Her Real Her Playbook, and it's a an eyeshadow palette. So right up my alley, right? So this is the number three palette. Yeah, see, number three. And let's open it. I did open it so it's easier to open on camera. So here's a little palette. It's really nice, actually. It's pretty sturdy. It's not too big. And when you open it, we have these wonderful shades. So it's like a, a mixture of like some warm and cools like and pinkier, but I think primarily cool overall. So I did play with this shade, which is impeccable, right? Yeah, impeccable, which is a like a pinky shimmery shade. And there's impeccable on my ring finger. Well, it's white right there. So there's Impeccable. So um, the pigmentation is kind of, mm. again, if you apply an eye with a brush, it might be different. So I do like that they have a matte and a shimmer highlighter, which is great. They have lid shades, which is this Impeccable. Um, we have some great crease shades. Um, this Incomparable, which let's take a look at that. So there's Incomparable. So I don't know if I'm picking good shades to swatch because it's kind of light. Oh, that's a crooked swatch. Let me try another one. So let's try Alluring, which is this nice, probably all over and crease shade. A nice brown shade. Oh, it's a little bit satiny, I think. So that's alluring. Yes. So it's like a pinky brown. It's almost satiny. So I'm going to have fun playing with this. I don't mind getting a palette like this in, in BoxyCharm. So those were the five products. We had the palette, the Artist Couture Highlighter, the awesome brush, a lipstick from Ofra, liquid lipstick, awesome, and three sheet masks. So I have to say BoxyCharm did it this month really great. So that is it. If you have any questions, let me know. 
I'll leave the bubble here to subscribe and feature last month's BoxyCharm as well. I will talk to you soon. Bye.